from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. Hello, this is Juan Felipe Herrera, U.S. Poet Laureate, and I'm here at the Special Collections and Rare Books Division with Mark Manavon. And we've been looking at these beautiful materials that Mark is going to begin to tell us about. What do we have here, Mark? Uh, well, first, um, I pulled some materials from our Sylvester and Orfanos collection. Sylvester and Orfanos uh, is a small publisher in Los Angeles, California. They did about 25 fine editions of works by popular authors, and um, culminating with their Tsarukis volume, which is a uh, tribute to the Greek artist Sarukis. Um, it includes about 36 serographs and several um, tributes from uh, other authors and painters. You know, we were talking about that collection, mm -hmm. and it's a pretty big collection. Mm -hmm. In addition to the prints and art, mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about the art of uh, Sarukis, actually. Okay, um, well, uh, he's a modern Greek painter. Um, he was most active from about uh, 1930 through about 2000. Uh, he does a lot of um, very realistic, uh, very raw paintings, um, most of which are men. Um, a lot of his, his paintings are homoerotic. Um, the women that he, he paints are typically very strong, uh, very much like a, a Frida Kahlo figure. That's right, mm -hmm. we, no, uh, we noticed that. Mm -hmm. And uh, what is the medium? It's a very, it looks like a, like a watercolor, it looks like acrylic. Uh, acrylic. Acrylic. Typically. Mm -hmm. He did do some drawings, uh, some uh, charcoal and uh, pen and ink, I believe. Uh, and he was also active in the theater and he did set designs. Oh, I didn't know that part. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's amazing. Yes. And what about the tributes? This is also very mm -hmm. interesting. Yes, yeah, so the tributes um, are from authors and other painters, uh, some hoteliers uh, and uh, other major figures, uh, authors such as Odysseus Elitis, who was the uh, poet laureate <laughs> in That's poetry, right. pardon me, in 1976. That's right. Yes, and um, Reynolds Price, a, a major American author, uh, James Merrill, another major American author and poet. So. And this is done on letterpress. Yes, it is. That's mm -hmm. a lot of good work right there. And so the tributes were in uh, both English, and then you can turn it over, and then they're in Greek. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. I'm yes. really moved by this. I'm really inspired by, by the work of this artist. And I was looking at the faces. They kind of remind me a mm -hmm. little bit. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's very different of uh, Matisse's mm -hmm. uh, faces in the dark outline pencil. Oh, yes. That's beautiful. Yes. And the other work uh, mm -hmm. that you showed me was... Oh. Uh, well, the, the collection, no. these are the, the 20, okay. a selection of the 25 editions that they, they published. And then uh, as part of that acquisition, we also uh, received their archive for all 25 editions of their books. Um, so I pulled out uh, one archive. Each archive is divided into uh, by, by publication. And then this one is for... Uh, John Cheever's Expelled, a miniature book, and included in the archive are letters from the publishers requesting permission to publish a work, uh, any kind of responses that they received from the, the writers or their agents, and uh, here we have a selection of letters from the artists that they, they contracted with to do, the, to go do with the book, um, and this particular artist, Warren Chappelle, uh, in all of his publications, he would include a little drawing uh, on his letterhead. That's, that's what I really liked mm -hmm. about this, uh, these letters. You wouldn't see this kind of material at all no. if we hadn't collected it or right. Uh, right. acquired it. Mm -hmm. And it's so beautiful because of the, uh, the handwriting mm -hmm. of the artist, and it's a letter, mm -hmm. and then the artist decides to draw something on that letter and oh, just yes. kind of gobble up the whole page. Mm -hmm. I like that. And, and some of them are, are quite uh, intricate drawings. That's true. Yes. Well, we have, what is this, like a... A gargoyle. Like a gargoyle, and mm -hmm. we have a... <laughs> Who's this guy? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> it looks kind of stately there. Mm -hmm. 
And then we have like a clown mm -hmm. balancing a feather mm -hmm. and, uh, and on and on. And mm -hmm. different colors and different inks mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I love this. Mm -hmm. It's like we could do, uh, we can do letters mm -hmm. uh, on kind of a stationary, mm -hmm. responding to uh, a, a publisher. Oh, yes. And then we could add our drawings in there. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. So I think that's great. Uh, and cool. part of the other part of the archive, we also mm -hmm. have author corrected proof pages. Oh, that's um, true. So you can track back and see if there have been any changes in the text over the years, uh, over multiple publications, oh, and right. where that change may have occurred. Uh, we have uh, samples of bindings, gatherings, uh, the individual gatherings from the, the publication. And the gatherings are before the book is actually uh, bound and, That's pr and produced. Mm -hmm. They're like, uh, let's see what it looks like, mm -hmm. and this is, these are the gatherings. Exactly. So we have gatherings and mm -hmm. for even a, a small size like that. Oh, yes. Okay, the next collection I'd like to show you is our Poets Laureate collection. This collection is made up of all the works of the Poets Laureate. We collect every title, every edition. And that frequently includes small press works, uh, broadsides, anything that the poets have produced. That's amazing. I'm, I'm looking at the, uh, this one by Maxine Kuhlman. Mm -hmm. uh, when was that done? Oh, uh, you know, I don't know exactly. Uh, a while ago, that's for sure. But typically these are signed yeah. by the poets yes. when they're here. This is from 1992. 1992. Mm -hmm. That's a very nice looking book. Mm -hmm. But anything that she's produced, uh, we'll, we'll add it to our collection. Right. Mm -hmm. And then the broadsides. The broadsides are amazing. Uh, these are typically uh, single poems, and they're combined with artwork, uh, most often a, a woodblock print. Sometimes there's a drawing or a small painting that goes on them. They're usually done in limited edition, so maybe about 100 to 150 copies. You know, that's what I noticed, mm -hmm. that there are not that many, uh, is there like 200 or 300? There's around 100. Right. Yeah, around mm -hmm. 100. Huh? There's mm -hmm. not like 1,000. There's right. it's a short edition. Mm -hmm. And then they're also signed mm -hmm. and numbered and signed mostly in pencil. Right. That's mm -hmm. interesting. Mm -hmm. Not all the time, but most of the time. Right. Yeah. And they're usually done by fine presses. That's right. Mm -hmm. And, and we, we even have your works right here, the most recent Poet Laureate. <laughs> I just noticed. Mm -hmm. Uh, good going. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and this is a bigger piece over here. Right. That's a fine press book uh, by a small press in Richmond, Virginia, and it's uh, Charles Wright's Yard Journal. And this one has uh, what I believe, I think these are serographs combined with his poetry. Very nice. Kind mm -hmm. of, uh, the serographs are very interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a kind of, kind of galactic or something. Mm -hmm. Very modern or, looking. Oh, yeah, very modern looking. Mm -hmm. And kind of like a new universe coming into being. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe that's what he's talking about. Maybe maybe, maybe it corresponds. A oh, mist in the trees. Yeah. Mist in the trees. And uh, s new stars. Old songs. Maybe that's, oh, yes. that's going on. Mm -hmm. Beautiful poems. Beautiful serographs. Mm -hmm. Beautiful book. Beautiful collection. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.